Okay, the first thing we're going to talk about is site preparation. Yes, we have to get serious about the site preparation. You want peppers like that? Bing, bam, boom. It starts with site preparation. Now, what do we do here on our homestead? Well, you've probably seen our videos before, but if you haven't, when it comes to your peppers, of course, you want a wonderfully bright and sunny location. And if you look at where we planted our peppers, they're smack dab in the middle of our garden where the sun is vibrant and brilliant and shines on them all day. The next thing is, besides having a nice sunny location, is you want soil that is loomy. What is loomy soil? Well, I'll tell you what, you can test your soil. And actually, I'll just test mine right here, right in front of you guys. We'll, we'll bring back the uh, wood chips here. Uh, there is sandy soil and there is clay soil. And you can tell what you have by digging down into the dirt and squeezing. If you squeeze and it just kind of falls apart, it's it's sandy. If you squeeze really hard and it stays in the ball, well, it's, it's clay. If you squeeze real hard and it's like this, that's beautiful. This is loomy soil. It's that cross between sand and that cross between clay. Now, the problem is if you've got too much clay or if you've got too much sand, you're going to have to fix that problem before you start looking at you create a loomy soil. You can use a lot of organic material. You can use compost. You can use uh, manure, aged manure. I, or you could do what we did, um, the back to uh, Eden method, uh, which really has, as you see, uh, the proof is definitely in the pudding. This is why we have such outstanding uh, peppers. But find out what works for you guys on your own homestead. And then create that soil and then go to town with your peppers. Now, when you get that pepper plant, and I'm not going to walk through um, growing these plants by seed. You can do you can do the seed thing, uh, awesome, but we are going to start when they are ready to be transplanted you out transplant into it, your you garden. You better make sure it's after the last frost, and you better make sure that the ground is warm. Buy yourself a thermometer, invest, and stick that thermometer into the ground and make sure it's 65 degrees. Because if it's not, these beautiful, wonderful looking peppers aren't going to be able to sustain because they need warmth. They really need a lot of warmth, and they need that fertile soil. Now, what we had done on our homestead is when my husband transplanted those little fragile uh, little seedlings, he, he did harden them off for about 10 days. He should always harden them off. But he, he really, he had a really creative idea. Um, he had two creative ideas. For individual pepper plants, what he did, as you see these little containers, these are just lemonade containers and he cut off the lids and then he would flip them over on the small seedlings and keep these on all day and it created a little baby greenhouse effect and I tell you those seedlings did great now you'd think it'd be too warm no, uh -uh. Uh, peppers love heat and they loved these containers so this is cheap and easy now the other thing that we also do is we created our own um, uh, hoop house and I'll just walk you right over here what we ended up doing and I have a video on it and we still have the ends here we pounded in rebar and then we took PVC with the ends still attached and hooped them over and then we covered all of these pepper plants with that hoop house. All right, and the next thing I want to talk about is water for your pepper plants because this really seems to be an area where people can either overwater, they can, or they can underwater. Uh, pepper plants aren't really too finicky, but they do need at least one inch of water a week. And when it's really, really hot and you've got uh, extreme conditions, they can take up to a gallon a day, really, a gallon a day. So they really pay thirsty. attention to the temperatures. And the other thing I really want to advocate for this too, is you really should have some type of organic mulch on those peppers. As you see, we do the Back to Eden Garden method. 
method. We have heavy, heavy wood chips on our, our peppers. And you know what? Three months, three days of, of watering throughout those three months. That's no lie, people. This is, this is no lie, really. So having a heavy cover like that really eliminates the need to water. And you know what? Water is such a precious commodity. So really be smart about when you put that plant in the ground, think about either doing the back to Eden garden method or some type of heavy mulch for your peppers. It's going to save a lot. Okay, and another shh, secret tip. This is a secret not really but uh, when you get first blooms on your pepper plants and they just start taking off what we do and this really works well we get out the Epsom salt we add a tablespoon to a gallon of water and we water our plants with this this is pure beautiful unadulterated magnesium and the pepper plants love it they love it and it just makes them look so green and so healthy it gives them that pop and the other thing while we're talking about first blooms when you plant that pepper plant and it finally starts to take off and it gets all those beautiful flowers i'm going to show you this you have to um, resist the temptation to leave all the flowers on because they're kind of like tomato plants see here's some flowers okay you're going to see these when they first start blooming and that's great but pepper plants have a long ways to go so you're gonna pinch all of these little first blooms off don't panic have faith in the pepper plant because all that energy then is going to go back into the plant and you are going to get what you're we're, we're looking at now just abundant abundant peppers here's a great example you guys can really see this. Look at how healthy these stalks are. They're like they're like little trees. It's just amazing. And that's what we did. We we pinched off all of those blooms. And then I want you to look underneath here. This is the surprise. Look at all the peppers underneath here. Isn't that awesome? I'm gonna crawl right on in there. All right. And the last tip to remember. Your pepper plants are going to be all different shapes and sizes. That, that's really cool. And they're going to be different flavors, and they're going to be of different uh, heat. Some are going to be hot, some are going to be sweet, some are going to be mild. But they're, once they start taking off and they start getting big, they're kind of going to, they're going to get like tomatoes, and they're going to be heavy with fruit. You can see, look at these jalapenos. They're just dripping. What you need to do is start staking them so you give them a little support, okay? Because as you see, woo, <laughs> they, when they start filling up, woo, they will fill up. So you're going to have to be diligent about making sure that your pepper plants have proper support. And, and you're going to have to make sure you keep going out there and checking because they're kind of like the tomatoes once they start taking off. All right, guys, it's all the tips off. the Starry Hilder has today on growing peppers. It's really not that hard, but you just got to be smart about it. So I hope you wrote down some of the things that I said today because next year is going to be a whole new garden year, and you can start from scratch and hopefully oh, get, oh, <laughs> You can get produce. Look at that. Boom. Bang. Look at these colors. Oh, I, oh, I love these. You can't get these in the store, but you can grow them on your own homestead like I did. So listen to what I have to say because the proof really is in the pudding. All right, guys. God bless. Until next time, start growing some peppers like this. So we're out in the garden and look what we found. You see that black thing there? <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> I guess he uh, found a good spot amongst the beautiful pepper plants. <laughs> and look at Sprig, what are you doing? <laughs> Is that your spot? Say it's 100 degrees out here, and, and I'm just going to lay among the celery <laughs> and the peppers. Oh, he's so lovely. Oh, <laughs> he's a keeper. I'll leave him be. Yeah, we love you, Sprig.